A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Fred Ward, actor. He had the right stuff in movies from tremors to shortcuts. This article discusses actor Fred Ward, who has passed away at the age of 79. This character actor was known for his roles in a variety of movies, including the classic The Adventure Begins and Tremors. However, Fred Ward's greatest fame may lie in his role as Lumberjack Ramo Williams, who is killed in the film. Other movies that featured Ward include Miami Blues, Sweet Home Alabama, and Southern Comfort. Fred Ward was a character actor. Fred Ward was a character actor who starred in several Hollywood films during the last four decades. His career spanned four decades, starting with Fern films in the 1970s and ending in 2015. He played a range of characters including an astronaut, a Vietnam War soldier, a detective turned assassin, and even a hero battling giant worms. His IMDb page is a testament to his eclectic career. In addition to his renowned roles in movies like Tremors and The Right Stuff, Ward also served in the U.S. Air Force for three years. He was a lumberjack and a short-order cook in his early days before settling down to acting. Before his career began, Ward worked as a short-order cook, boxer, and lumberjack in Alaska. He also enjoyed a long career in television, appearing in such shows as Quincy, Emmy, and The Incredible Hulk. While he did not enjoy success in mainstream films, he enjoyed a wide range of roles in television and movies. He refused to be pigeonholed, even when his character roles were less than stellar. His first major role came in Escape from Alcatraz, followed by a small part in the Incredible Hulk series. A little later, Ward found success as a mime and voice-over artist in Rome. His career blossomed after he found the right kind of film to take home. He was a painter. Actor Fred Ward, who starred in dozens of films, has died. Ward was 79 years old. He is best known for his roles in The Right Stuff, Shortcuts and Trimmers. Before turning to acting, Ward worked as a boxer, a short-order cook, and even worked as a lumberjack in Alaska. He had a major role in Clint Eastwood's Escape from Alcatraz in 1979. After purchasing the film rights to Miami Blues, Ward went on to play veteran Miami police detective Hope Mosley. In 1990, he battled giant worm-like monsters in Tremors. His career continued to thrive after Tremors, including roles in Summer Catch and Sweet Home Alabama and True Detective. He also had a son named Django. His career continued after this, and he appeared in several more films with Eastwood including The Right Stuff and Tremors. His starring role in the ensemble film The Player in 1992 was the start of his breakout career, and he continued to act in several popular films throughout the next four decades. His credits included Henry and June and The Player. He was a boxer. Actor and producer Freddie Joseph Ward started his career with a 1973 television film in Italy. His diversified career spanned almost four decades. His movies ranged from boxing to thrillers, including Escape from Alcatraz, The Boxer, and The Scorpion King. The boxer played by Ward was also a successful boxing trainer. His role in the film The Rear has been credited as one of the most memorable boxing roles of all time before settling down and acting full-time. Ward worked as a boxer, a lumberjack, and even spent three years in the Air Force. Despite all the success that the Tremors franchise brought, Ward's career in Hollywood was not exactly the typical Hollywood move. In Rome, he started out as a mime and voiceover actor before landing his first major role in the 1990 horror comedy Escape from Alcatraz. From there, he was cast in sequels starring Kevin Bacon, Christopher Garting, and Michael Grassi's filmography includes films starring Azarel Bass, a boxer in the 1990s film Tremors. He starred in Henry and June, which received a limited release in theaters. In the 1996 film Miami Blues, Ward starred as a self-produced cop with a stolen badge and dentures. Other movies that feature Ward include The Satire The Player, directed by Robert Altman, and the thriller Patchfire. He was a lumberjack. The Golden Globe-winning character actor is perhaps best known for his role as a painter and lumberjack in Tremors, a 1990 horror film starring Kevin Bacon and a young Fred Ward. Ward has also played astronaut Virgil Gus Grissom in the 1983 comedy The Right Stuff.
Despite his comedic roots, Ward's acting is surprisingly serious, with his roles in both films being decidedly not for the faint of Herter before entering the acting world. Fred Ward spent three years in the Air Force and held various jobs, including boxer, short, order cook, and lumberjack in Alaska. In his later years, Ward honed his other favorite art form, painting. He is survived by his wife Mari France Ward and son Django Ward. In his early career, Ward performed in several films, including Tremors, was also an activist, serving in the Air Force for three years and working as a lumberjack in Alaska. Ward also appeared in films like Short Cuts and The Right Stuff, as well as in the television series Quincy, M.E., The Player, and Henry and June. However, he had a long and successful career. Despite his long list of roles, Fred Ward never lost his charm you after the series of films, Ward continued to work in a variety of roles. He starred in the 1990 action thriller The Adventure Begins, co-starring with Julianne Moore. His other movies included the comedy Wild Iris and the crime drama Joe Dirt. Ward was also a regular on the TV series Bob Roberts. He also appeared in the acclaimed thriller The Chaos Factor. He played a retired cop. Actor Fred Ward had a varied career. From his role as an astronaut in The Right Stuff to his role as a terrorist in Naked Gun 3303, Ward had a wide range of roles. In addition to the major films mentioned above, Ward also appeared in numerous low-budget productions. He had several successful roles in low-budget productions before his return to major cinema. From Tremors to Big Business, he played a police officer in Off Limits. Similarly, in The Prince of Pennsylvania, he played the father of Kenny Reeves' char actor Thy's filmography is lengthy. Among his lesser-known roles are his supporting roles in Silkwood, a gangster film starring Ben Stiller and the movie Circus. He also played a rough-hewn nightclub owner in Goldie Hawn's Swing Shift. He was also featured in the horror sequel The Crow, Salvation. Sadly, the film did not do much for Ward's career, and it only became known a few years later through home video releases. In addition to his numerous roles in films, Ward was a regular on television. He starred in several TV series, including True Detective and The Adventure Begins. He also appeared in other films, including Aaron Gray's Anatomy. In the 1990 film Henry at 26 June, Ward played a self-produced cop. His character wore a stolen gun, badge, and dentures. The film also starred Alec Baldwin and Jennifer Jason Lee. He was a character actor. Fred Ward is best known for his role as Earl Bass in the 1990 horror comedy Tremors. He also played the same role in the sequel, Tremors 2, Aftershocks. Ward was born in San Diego, California, and studied acting in New York City for six months. His death is undetermined. His death is being mourned by fans. Fred Ward was 79 years old. After a promising start as a screen actor, Ward bought the film rights to Miami Blues in 1988 and starred as the veteran Miami detective Hoke Mosley. He then starred in The Right Stuff, a 1990 comedy in which Ward played a slick ex con Despite his successful acting career, Time Reader did not do much for Ward. But his fans discovered it later on home video and cable. While Fred Ward began his career as a lumberjack, he also worked in the Air Force for three years. The experience he gained there helped translate into his acting career. He then worked as a mime and voiceover in Rome. He received his first big break in Escape from Alcatraz, before getting a defining role in The Right Stuff. If you missed Fred Ward, remember him fondly. After Henry at 26 June, Ward worked steadily in movies for about a decade. By 1990, he was making three or four movies per year. His next big movie was Henry and June, which he starred in with Uma Thurman. It was an ensemble comedy about Henry Miller and his wife, June. 